Since it's time for a Lowe's run, you know we're gonna get to see the sun coming up. Morning, two dozen donut holes, please. Don't tell Angie. Just a quick public service announcement. Before you go and think you can haul a whole pallet of concrete, check the payload capacity of your vehicle and make sure it can handle it. Um, this load here, which is a full pallet, is right around 3,400 pounds, give or take. The payload capacity for my vehicle is about 4,400 pounds, so I'm, I'm well within the limits of what I can haul. Your standard half-ton truck is not gonna want this on it and a lot of your three-quarter ton trucks are not gonna want this on it either. So just look it up and see what your payload capacity is. If you don't know, that way you can stay safe on the road. The things I do sometimes to get a shot. Hopefully that'll give you a decent view of what's going on in here. I'm gonna start dragging some tools out and see if we can't finish framing this thing up and get some concrete pouring after lunch time. All right, all right, all right. Something I gotta pay particular attention to is making sure that, for one, everything that I do, I'm not nailing, I'm gonna screw it together because majority of all this will be taken apart once this concrete is set up. But I need to ensure that my screws are going in from this bottom side and nothing in from the top side. That way when I break it all down, I'll be breaking it down from underneath. So like positioning these right here. Something simple like that. Just got to hold it in place, that's all I got to do.
there you have it. One poor man's storm shelter ready for concrete ceiling. Got some rebar tied over into the walls. Got the wire down, got the plastic down. I'll fill the pockets on the blocks around the exterior. That way it's all tied together. So this shall wait till in the morning. I'll get a bright and early start on this first thing. And it'll go rather quickly tomorrow, I hope. And maybe I can move on and start on something else tomorrow. But yeah. Check mark this off the list just nearly. Good morning. It is time to get back after it. I set a bunch of the anchors and stuff on that foundation yesterday. I know you didn't want to watch me do that. But we got a bunch of those set. And I've got a full day planned for concrete. We're going to hope it takes a lot less than a full day, but I wanted to make sure I had plenty of time allocated to get this done because uh, it's going to wear me out. But let's get started.
Well, there you go. That was simple, right? No big deal. I guarantee you I will remember this tomorrow. Very clearly. <laughs> uh, I had a few bags left over as predicted. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough. The last thing I wanted to do was to fall short. I've got the little blue nub here stuck up. That way, when I do frame the house on this end here, I can run electrical down in there and I can have a one light bulb inside there and it'll make it easier than trying to carry a flashlight or anything like that. Other than that, everything went pretty smoothly. Uh, the good news is the form held up and it did not fall in. That's, that's always a plus. And yes, I'm glad to mark that off my list. Now I'm going to let that set up till, oh, tomorrow anyway. And then I'm going to take off the outside forms and was speaking with my better half last night and we were trying to decide if it's worth leaving the framing on the inside because I can go ahead and build a bench off of that. I can build some shelving off of that. So the interior may just get left like it is. Things change, things always change. But mark this one off the list almost i still got to get this door built probably going to frame it out of two bys and try to do it out of wood but structurally sound as best i can and have it swing to the inside that way it can't just be sucked open in the event that we're hanging out in there in a tornado but save that for another day that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed, and maybe this gave you an idea for a cheap way to do your own. Um, will this hold out in a tornado? I have no idea. I hope I never find out. But we'll catch you guys on the next one.